Hello soulmates and precious, welcome again to our YouTube channel. So on today's class, I'm going to be showing you how to draft this beautiful mandarin color that is on this dress. This dress is actually for a class, so I thought to share with you how to draft a beautiful mandarin color. So if you take note of this color, you see that it's a little bit wide and deep. So what you need to do first is to measure around your neckline. So measure around your neckline like so okay so front and back well i've measured this i have 18.5 and um, there's a slight alteration to this i actually wanted mine to come down a bit but if you're not so it means your neckline should be three by three or three by two so that is what i have here um next we'll be learning how to draft this beautiful mandarin color it fits just anybody so i'll be seeing you on the drafting table so first things first I like to have a margin okay remember the color width we're working with is 18.5 so we're going to be dividing that 18.5 into two so 18.5 is the whole um, length of the color so you divide into two we have 9.25 so you want to come down here on your pattern paper and place the 9.25 like so now what you do next again is still go ahead and divide this 9.25 again okay so i'm going to mark it down here so we have two lines i place my paper on fold so the first thing you want to do or the next thing rather is to go up by one inch from this end so at this point we already know that here is our center front and this part here is going to be our center back so what I'll do next is draw a slant line from my one inch to the midpoint mark that I got initially, okay? So this is what it should look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop my ruler here. So next, what you do is to measure your color. You, you, could, you, could, you can call it your color height, okay? So 1.5 is the standard for mandarin color. So mates, your base color, your mandarin color, it shouldn't be more than 1.5 inches okay if it's more than 1.5 inches it should be too much okay so i'm going to follow all the lines like so i'm just following it through like this and then the most important tool is what we'll be needing here which is our curve so i want you to watch how i place my curve because it is very important you know your curve placement as well okay so everything you need is actually on this curve you just need to master you know the placement so i'm just going to go ahead like so and then smoothing it out like blend it up so when i get to this point i will just place you see the way i returned my curve so this is also what you're learning curve placement when it comes to color and color making okay so i'm just marking it out so this is what i have so mate so what I'll do next is get a straight line, just continue this line up. Now the next one is actually something I do a lot, I'm going to share with you. You'll be using like the angle 45 on your curve. So you see the L shape, right? So you want to place it like so. So the straight line is here, so you want to get the midpoint. This is very important. So what I'll do next is to follow that line. So you see what we have here. Now, why is this important? You know your color is supposed to have this small rounded edge around your neck area. So it's not looking all, um, you know, slacked or something. So that is why we did this, okay? So our color is almost ready. So what you do next is come in with your curve again, okay? So if you don't have this curve, try to get one. It is a lifesaver. So you can see how I'm placing my curve. I like to come up a bit, you know, like so so that my curve or uh, my color has the kind of a balance okay so this is what my color looks like right now what i'll do next is just to come in with the marker pen and smoothing up the lines um so that we can see what we've been working on and then i will cut it out and you just learned how to make a mandarin color so made so when i cut it out i'll show you what it looks like
Okay, so mates, we are done. So if you struggle to make a mandarin color, say bye bye to that struggle because you've learnt it. So what you need to do now is place your fabric on bias fold and place your mandarin color on it and then add your seam allowance of half inch around, interface it and attach it to your dress. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like, give it a thumbs up and share with your friend and most importantly don't forget to subscribe for more i'm precious bye see you at the top